Good afternoon, everyone. Pastor Brent Oliver here, and um, this is a day 39 of our daily devotions called 50 Days to Pentecost. Again, this is something we started back uh, at Easter and are each and every day looking in the scriptures and just spending a couple of minutes uh, looking in the scriptures and talking about what Jesus talked about, which was the coming of the Holy Spirit. And, um, and so today, uh, having spent several days uh, up, to yes, up through yesterday, spent several days talking about the Holy Spirit. Um, we were talking about the benefits of speaking in other tongues, went through several days of that. Today, day 39, says don't lose the power. You have the power of the Holy Spirit in you. We're saying don't lose the power. Well, I want to start off by today by saying I have really good news for you. You will come to the point where temptation will not be an issue for you. Aren't you thankful for that? That will be called eternity. While on the earth, even with the power of the Holy Spirit, you'll find out this. The moment you give an inch, the flesh will be ready to rise up with its evil desires. That's why I want to pause here to say that although the Holy Spirit does make an absolutely huge difference in our lives, because if he didn't, the Bible would be lying, our free will can still lead us astray. Let's look at a biblical example today, which will illustrate that point. We're going back to the Old Testament now and to a man by the name of Samson. Samson was a man greatly used of God, and before his birth, the Lord told Samson's mother in the book of Judges chapter 13, it says, you will conceive and give birth to a son. No razor may be used on his head because the boy is to be a Nazarite, set apart to God from birth, and he'll begin the deliverance of Israel from the hands of the Philistines. The Lord had a call and a destiny on Samson, um, even before he was conceived. To his own people and to the Philistines, Samson was an unstoppable uh, individual and seemingly invincible. The scripture tells us no razor may be used on his head, meaning that his hair would grow long, which would be an outside symbol of an inward commitment, a vow to set him apart from birth. To cut it will symbolize the breaking of the vow. The secret of his power, however, was that according to Judges 13.25, the spirit of the Lord began to take hold of him. As Samson grew, there were many times when the Holy Spirit would come upon him in such power that absolutely phenomenal things would take place. In Judges chapter 14, verses 5 and 6, it says, Samson went down to Timnah together with his father and mother. As they approached the vineyards of Timnah, suddenly a young lion came roaring toward him. The Spirit of the Lord came upon him in power so that he tore the lion apart with his bare hands as he might have torn a young goat. But he told neither his father nor his mother what he had done. You see, even in the Old Testament, there were times when the Holy Spirit would come upon an individual and give them supernatural power. In an early confrontation with the Philistines, the Holy Spirit came upon Samson. And as the Philistines came against him to try to take him out, he actually killed 30 of them by himself. This came by the power of the Holy Spirit upon him. This kind of power is nothing for God. Working through anyone, just like you, just like me, he, he, he can do whatever he wants. Samson is evident, evidence, however, that no one is invincible. Samson began to compromise by entangling himself with unholy, unwholesome relationships. First of all, he spent a night with a prostitute. Then after her, afterward, he went to Timnah, a town near the Philistines, to find a wife. These were the people who had not entered into a covenant relationship with God, as Samson had. According to Judges 16.4, it says that Samson fell in love with a woman named Delilah, who lived in the valley of Sorek. This was the compromise that the Philistines, and we could say, and the devil, were waiting on. Philistine rulers heard that Samson and Delilah were an issue and promised to give Delilah, Delilah 1,100 pieces of silver, which was thousands upon thousands of dollars to us, to find out the secret of his strength. 
Delilah made three fruitless attempts at, at gaining that Samson's confidence and discover his secret. Each time he teased her by inventing a means whereby he would become as weak as any other man and could be captured. He was flat playing with fire and was about to get burned. In Judges 16, verses 16 and 17, the scripture tells us with such nagging, she prompted or she prodded him day after day until he was tired to death. So he told her everything. He said, no, no razor has ever been used on my head because I've been a Nazarite set apart to God from birth. If my head were shaved, my strength would leave me and I would become as weak as any other man. Well, the devil will nag you and I and prod, hoping the day comes that we will give him just a little bit of compromise. No matter how much God's hand is upon us, no matter when we were filled with the Holy Spirit or how full of the Holy Spirit we might know that we are or feel that we are, if we begin to compromise, the flesh rises up. We'll find that our strength begins to wane. The sad thing about Samson was that after his compromise, the scripture said this, Delilah cried out, Samson, the Philistines have come to capture you. When he woke up, he thought, I will do as before and shake myself free. But he did not realize that the Lord had left him. It's no question that the Holy Spirit wants to fill us with power. We must, however, do our best to walk a straight and narrow path to maintain that power. My encouragement to you today is temptation is the devil's attempt to zap you from the power of God, cause you to compromise, and then come after you until he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Don't yield even, even an inch. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for your word that is an encouragement to us today. I thank you for the Holy Spirit that you've given to us, to lead us, to walk with us, to guide us, to speak to us, and also to empower us. Lord, give us strength to resist all temptation. Lord, may we give not an inch, no compromise, so that we do not give the devil any opportunity to get in and begin to weaken us and be able to accomplish his ultimate goal, which is to steal, kill, and destroy. Your word warns us. Your word shows us. May we heed that word today. We thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I appreciate you being with me today. Um, and uh, once again, we're doing this on a daily basis. 50 Days to Pentecost, we'll follow this up uh, through the day of Pentecost and kind of see where we go from there. But I hope it's a blessing to you today. Like this, share this, let other people see it. May the Lord uh, bless people with his word. And once again, we appreciate you being here. Hope to see you again tomorrow. God bless you now. Bye-bye.